Welcome back guys. I am happy to say that I have some more updates on the K997 project. Um, I'm super excited because we're getting so close. Today we are actually gonna put the engine back in the car and start finalizing everything. Um, but to bring you up to speed before we do that, I wanted to share with you where we're at with the engine. Uh, the valve cover has been powder coated and while it looks cool, it is not actually the color that I had intended it to be. There was a slight mix up, but I still think it's cool and it's pretty close to what it was supposed to be. But before we sent it off for powder coating, we welded in a bung that allows us to fill the engine with oil and two bungs that allow it, will allow us to do all the plumbing for the catch can setup. <clears throat> we also sent out the engine brace for powder coating and it looks fantastic. Um, also, while in the meantime, Eric has been beautifying this engine and it looks so much better than it used to. Uh, he painted it, cleaned up everything, put new fasteners on it and it looks a million times better than it did before. Um, so yeah, uh, the plan for today, get the clutch back on the engine, get the transmission back on the engine and get the engine back in the car and start plumbing it, doing the uh, coolant lines, doing the intercooler piping, all that stuff. So time to make some real progress and get closer to getting this engine up and running in the Porsche. So let's, uh, let's see how it goes. All right guys, one of the uh, first steps to getting this back in the car will be reinstalling the Kennedy Engineering Performance clutch, custom clutch kit that they provide with their adapter kit. Um, this is it all disassembled. And what they, their kit when they provide it, it includes the custom flywheel that has like two pieces, custom pressure plate and their disc. Um, it's an organic style disc. They claim, I think somewhere of like up, this should be, this disc should be good up to about 500 foot pounds torque. Hopefully we will test that out and see see if that's true. Um, also part of their kit is this adapter plate that bolts to the Porsche transmission. One other thing we had to do before in the previous video, we had to modify the starter to uh, fit the adapter plate so it clears this area and it so it clears this. Uh, spot on the stock Porsche. That was all done before, so we don't have to take care of that now. But today, we will be in reinstalling the, I guess it's the spacer and the starter ring, and then the surface for the flywheel, and then obviously the clutch pressure plate, and this uh, disc. So we'll get to putting that all together, then we'll put the transmission back on, and then we'll get this whole setup back in the Porsche. All right, guys, engine is in. We've started bolting things back up. The engine brace is bolted up, the front, the front brace is bolted up, and we've started bolting up stuff like the drive shafts, the shifter linkage is all bolted up, the clutch slave cylinder is installed and connected, and now we are starting to work towards uh, figuring out what to do about the cooling system. The Porsche setup has these aluminum lines that run to the front of the car, and we are figuring out how to best connect the Honda engine to those those original coolant pipes. Um, they line, we've got it set up so it's lined up pretty well. We just have to figure out the final connections, but um, that's about it for under here. Uh, why don't I bring the car down and show you from the top. All right guys, here it is. Engine is in and I am super happy with the results. It looks fantastic in here. I'm super happy with the valve cover. Eric also has done an amazing job of cleaning this engine up. It looks brand new. This is still the internally stock K24 Z7 engine out of a 2013 Civic Si. Um, the plan is we're, we're gonna run the stock engine, see how much we can make, and then we'll switch it out for a built engine. But uh, he has done such a great job of making this engine look new and presentable. It looks fantastic in the engine bay now. Um, it looks so much better than, than the Porsche engine when it was in here. So, I don't know, this is where we're at. Uh, there's still a ton of work to do. We still have to do all the connections like coolant, fuel, power steering, air conditioning, uh, all the charge piping, mounting the intercooler. And there's been a big change with the uh, plans for the turbo manifold. We were originally going to custom make, uh, cut up and weld together a turbo manifold. But what we decided to do was get my friend John, who's helped me out a lot with the all the CAD work for this, um, that when we needed design parts, he's helped me out a lot with that and he helped create a new turbo manifold. It'll be machined out of two pieces, 
all CNC machined, which will be much more efficient than the, the one we were tr gonna try to make. So once I have that, it's being manufactured right now, it's being machined. It, I should hopefully have it soon in a week or two. Once I have it in my hand, it will be going on this right away and I'll share with you that. I'm super excited to see how that manifold turns out. But uh, I think that's about it for now. I hope you guys are still enjoying this project and are excited as I am with all these updates. So that's about it. Thanks again for watching guys and I will see you again soon. Bye now.